grow all widgets here and then we covered image box we covered icon box star ratings image carousels and now let's see gallery see if you have so many uh, images uh, in your if you're creating a website for a client say and uh, they want to showcase some images on their website then you can neatly organize those images uh, and uh, as soon as someone clicks on that image a pop-up will appear in, and in that pop-up the images will be seen you can create some something like this and isn't it beautiful to uh, organize it in this way and then if someone clicks on this outside image or someone if someone clicks on this cancel button and they'll return back to the page of that section right so this is a widget that can be created by using a widget called as basic gallery right so let me simply drag it here anywhere you want and then again as we created the image carousels right we created a gallery just select this widget and go here on the left and select your images let me select these images again and uh, 10 images i guess right so insert so now we have 10 images over here what we can do is we can decide the number of columns right now it is four column layout so let's make it five column layout first you can select either uh, select the predefined styles predefined sizes or you can just simply select full and i recommend you to make sure all the images that you are using are of same size right same dimensions at least so that it looks beautiful or it looks it looks it has to look professional uh, right so for that uh, the same dimension images has to be used so that the symmetry comes out of your design it's a best practice and now let's make it five column layout so that we can comprise the complete gallery within two columns this is much better now you can link it or uh, use attachment page or you can link it with some media files so right now i don't think we want anything such but and now and then we have this option to organize these images how do you want to organize it either the way you have selected it or randomly you want to display you can do that if you select media file over here you will get a one more option called as light box light box is nothing but as soon as you click on this image this image pops up like this and either you can see the complete image i'll just show you by clicking on update on preview mode right now we are inside the editor right so let me preview this scroll down yeah this one right if you click on this image the image pops up beautifully and then you have all these controls over here so you can create something like this beautifully you can organize this complete images by using this widget and then let's go to style options and probably we'll be able to update the spacing yeah we can update the spacing and then in case you want to show some border you can display you can make width uh, or else you can also make it dashed border or groove right you can just play around with this you have border options and then captions captions we didn't add any captions so just never mind and in case you want to add caption just go here and click here and add your captions and then click on insert gallery come back here and you can update the caption styles as well 
it is just text you can align uh, the caption left right center and change color and typography right you can either show or hide the captions as well now under advanced again almost everything is same like advanced margin padding z index motion effects background color background uh, borders positioning all those things are almost same so we don't have to go through that once again now basic gallery is completed so let's go to icon styles 